guys, it's Anastasia with Anastasia's Real Meals, and today we're going to be making something seriously fantastic. It's healthy comfort Ooh. food. Didn't think it exists? Well, it does, because I'm going to be making it, and so are you. So, what we're making today is what I call the Sloppy Steven. It's a play on the traditional Sloppy oh. Joe. But it's called the Sloppy Steven because Steven is my fiance. And I don't know if you guys ever lived with a boy. They're really sloppy. Yeah, that and ever since we got engaged, he's been wanting to lose some weight. And this is a healthier version of the traditional manwich Sloppy Joe. So let's get my ingredients and let's get started. I need some one pound of ground turkey, a small red onion, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, some ketchup, a 15 ounce can of red kidney beans, any type of vinegar you want. This happens to be white vinegar that I put into an apple cider vinegar bottle. I know, ghetto, but don't act like you don't do this. Um, I had a big jug of vinegar and I put it into the smaller bottles. We all do it, whatever. So I'm using white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. I've made this with red wine vinegar before. It tastes delicious every time. I need honey mustard, burger buns, honey, and salt. So these are the ingredients I need for Sloppy Joe. And we're gonna start with our meat and our onion. So first things first, I'm gonna chop the onion. And guys, a lot of Sloppy Joe recipes have sugar in them. I um, opted for honey in this one. I know it's still um, it's still sugar, but I feel that honey's a little bit healthier. So I'm gonna start with chopping my onion. Okay, so I just chopped my onion, and I'm just gonna dump that into my skillet and the turkey meat. I'm gonna dump that in there as well. And right over it, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of my delicious blue olive olive oil. If I could ever get it open. I don't know if you guys have ever tried blue olive olive oil. I think you can order it online from their website, but it's so good. And I know olive oil, I'm Greek. So I put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there and I turn my stove top on high. And I'm just gonna break up the turkey just a little bit and let that brown. So while my turkey and my, and my onions are browning, right on my stove top, I'm gonna pull together the rest of the ingredients. First, I'm just gonna drain and rinse my can of kidney beans. And you can use any beans you want, like I say in all of my videos. I'm just gonna rinse them and let the water drain out a little bit. I'm gonna open this can of tomato sauce, crazy can opener. And in a bowl, I'm just gonna pull together the rest of my ingredients because in the end, we're gonna mix them in to the turkey and the onions. So I need the whole can of tomato sauce. I need about half a cup of ketchup. Sure, why not? I need about one tablespoon of honey mustard, about one tablespoon of honey, yay, honey, one tablespoon of vinegar of your choice, even if it's different than what it says on the bottle, but as long as it's vinegar. I'm just gonna mix all of that together. Once you have all your ingredients mixed together in a bowl, they're ready to go right in with the tur brown turkey and onion mixture. I'm just gonna break up my turkey a little bit. Okay, now that I broke up my turkey, I'm ready to pour my tomato sauce, honey mustard, vinegar, honey mixture, ketchup, right into the turkey and onion mixture. And I'm also gonna pour my beans right in there. So once this starts to bubble, we're gonna lower our heat to just above low, and we're gonna let it simmer uncovered for about 20 minutes and then it's time to eat. So my sloppy Steven mixture is finished. I left it on uncovered for 20 minutes and what happens is, oh, and I added salt. I added about a teaspoon of salt, mixed it in there. What happens in that 20 minutes when you leave it uncovered, 
the sauce that we created with the honey and the tomato sauce, the ketchup, the mustard, it thickens around the meat and the onion and the beans and it just becomes this amazing morsel of delectable goodness. And it smells amazing and I bet it tastes just as amazing. So we're obviously gonna try it. Looks like this. It's not liquidy. When you first put it in, it's liquidy. But then it thickens and reduces. And it looks very unhealthy, but I assure you it's not. And I'm just gonna slap. Of course, I already have my bun ready because smelling it makes me starving. If you wanna go bunless, you can go bunless and just eat it like this. And I'm basically getting as much of it on here as I possibly can because it's just that good. Oh, got a goner. We'll eat that part with a fork later. Let's see how it came out. That is sloppy and so good and reminds me of a sloppy joe but so much healthier. So my version of a sloppy joe, the sloppy Steven, wins. It's amazing. You guys have to try it. Please stay tuned for more AK Real Meals coming your way. Healthy versions, easy versions of your favorite meals. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Please, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching.